going guys? Aaron from PhoneDog.com here and whether you're on Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile or Sprint, you have a lot of different Android options available to you. You know, you have high-end phones, mid-range phones, low-end phones and all in between. A lot of different Android choices but you know what we do in Phone Dog Land when there are two awesome phones and we want to compare those and see which one's the best, we do a dog fight. That's what. In today's dog fight we have the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G Slide, the newest member of the MyTouch family in a new Android phone on T-Mobile. 1.2 gigahertz processor over here that's dual core at that, an 8 megapixel camera and Android 2.3. Then over here we have the HTC Evo 3D 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor here as well dual 5 megapixel cameras on the back so you can shoot 3D content and Android 2.3 over here on this bad boy also. Which one's the best? Should you go with the MyTouch line with the physical keyboard or should you go with the Evo 3D, the successor to the Evo 4G on Sprint? We'll find out that more in the dogfight but first special thanks to our buddies at Best Buy. They always hook us up with awesome phones and we give them to you in our contests so when you walk into Best Buy Mobile you'll walk out working. They'll help you set up either of these devices, get your email set up, your web set up, all that stuff so when you walk out that door you're working and you don't have to worry about anything at Best Buy Mobile. Enough of that, let's get into it. So in part two of this video, we're going to do a lot of stuff. We're going to cover the cameras, cover speed tests, but also I'm going to take some of your questions from Twitter that you asked me as well. I reached out earlier and said, what would you like to see in this video? Some comparisons, things like that. We'll talk a little bit about those in part two of this video. First of all, let's take a look at the cameras. 8 megapixel camera over on the MyTouch 4G slide. And like I said earlier in part one, HTC and T-Mobile are calling this the most advanced camera of any smartphone. So you have that over here. And you have the Evo 3D with dual 5 megapixel cameras so you can shoot 3D content. Now the 4.3 inch display on this phone is a stereoscopic display, meaning that you don't need glasses to view the 3D content. So I can get down here in the Evo 3D and go to, oh let's say, uh, 3D games for example. Actually just kidding, let's not go to that. Let's go into the pictures. Let's take a picture here with the 5 megapixel camera. We're going to switch over to 3D. See I click the little switch like that and we're going to take a picture of the, let's say the Droid 3. We'll bring the Droid 3 into the equation here. And I'm going to pull this over here so you can see. And I'm going to turn the screen on. I'm actually going to do it at the keyboard so maybe we can get a better 3D effect there. Take a picture. And actually I'm going to take another picture because I meant to use the physical button. So we're going to half press to zoom, full press to take that picture. And then of course with the stereoscopic. Now the one downside of stereoscopic displays is you have to hold it just the right way in order to get the 3D effect. If you hold it any differently it's going to give you a headache and obviously you can't see 3D content in the video camera but you can see the 3D effect that's uh, taking place right there. Now I'll tell you, you know, the Evo 3D, I've worked with a couple of 3D devices. I've played with the Thrill 4G and I've actually worked with the Evo 3D and the Optimus 3D and I will say the Optimus 3D and presumably the Thrill 4G are a little better in the 3D uh, department you can see this one does it pretty decently. That said, after a couple of day or a couple of minutes using it, I find that I get a little bit of a headache. So that's uh, something that may frustrate you. Now that said, you know, obviously having 3D, you don't have to use it. It's nice to have the feature, but uh, if you don't want to use it, you have, you know, of course, a single five megapixel camera where you can take pictures, videos, and things like that. So the 3D content still needs some work, but at least you have the capabilities of using it on the Evo 3D. Now let's jump over here and take a look at the 8 megapixel camera and you'll see some differences. Uh, dual LED flash first of all, but you'll see some differences in the interface. I'm going here to camera and anytime I bring up something, a keyboard, it auto focuses on the keyboard and it's a great focus as well. You can see how clear that looks. I mean I'm pretty close to the keyboard right now. Let's zoom out a little bit. And Every time I move it, it auto focuses back in. And it's got focus, now I'm half pressing. Bam. So, you know, almost zero shutter lag. It took it and moved right on. So, I can come in here and take a look. And you can see how clear that is for an 8 megapixel camera. Definitely one of the best in the market. I mean, zoom in. I'm going to zoom in on the C, for example, in the F over here. And you can see how clear that is. I mean, it's definitely one of the best cameras. Does it match the iPhone 4? Well, it comes pretty darn close. Uh, you know, the iPhone 4 is fantastic. Even though it's a 5 megapixel camera, it's fantastic in that department. This one definitely comes close and is the best Android camera that I've worked with so far. Now let's do a quick test here of the, uh, the shutter speed just to take a bunch of quick pictures. Zero lag once it zooms. Let's see here. Zoom. Zoom. Click. Click. So you can see it moves relatively quickly across the board 
with the uh, with zero, you know, almost zero shutter lag. So that's a big improvement over something like the Droid 3, which I used in Italy when I was traveling. And you know, the shutter speed is so frustrating on that device that it got to the point where it's two or three seconds before the picture would capture. So you had to hold the pose, or if you were driving, you always lost the pose, things like that. Much, much better on the uh, the MyTouch 4G slide. So you have that 8-megapixel camera over here, which is far better. Let me turn the Wi-Fi off. Let's do a quadrant standard test. And of course, take these with a grain of salt. You know, as with all of these, you know, it can vary depending on your mileage, what you use, and you, know, you may find one to be faster than the other, even though the speed test says differently. But we'll load up quadrant standard on both of these and run the benchmark. Now, the MyTouch 4G slide gets a little spotty with quadrant standards. So I may have to turn the video off and uh, get that score for you. Uh, after a couple of runs, but you know, call quality on both of these have been decent. Uh, one thing I will say, the Evo 3D and both the Evo 3D and the Sensation 4G, I feel like they suffer from some antenna issues. I've had some issues with the Evo 3D. I don't live in the best spot, uh, and don't my home office is in the best spot uh, for Sprint. So you know, you'll see that uh, one, two, maybe three bars of service they fluctuate pretty dramatically. T-Mobile's a little better, but I found that it holds on the MyTouch 4G slide holds on to a signal far better than the uh, Evo 3D, which is funny because they're both made by HTC. That said, in the signal department, the MyTouch 4G slide uh, is the king. So you know, take it with a grain of salt, but if you, uh, you know, you're looking to just make phone calls or at least make phone calls and text messaging as your primary thing you, you do on your phone, I'd say go with the MyTouch 4G slide. Let's see if we can load both of these up. And they've loaded right away. Let's see over here, that one started back up. Not sure why it did that. But we'll uh, get our benchmark results. You can see it gets a little funky with it and then it's sending the benchmark results, but the, uh, the data speeds have been so poor lately with Sprint, it's taking that long to send those results. Now, Quadrant Standard over here, 1,988. So 1,988 on the Evo 3D, and let's see what comes up on the MyTouch 4G slide. Now, battery life on both of these, 1,730 milliamp hours, like I said in part one, 1,520 milliamp hours. The battery life is actually better on the MyTouch 4G slide. I have issues, and it may be because of the larger display, it may be because the full version of Sense is very consuming, you know, system resource consuming. That said, I made it through the day with the MyTouch 4G slide. I've never been able to make it through the day on the Evo 3D. So something to keep in mind as well, if you don't mind charging your battery, you want that entertainment functionality, the 3D, things like that, you're gonna be better off with the, uh, the Evo 3D. If you want the battery life, and great call quality, or better call quality at least, the MyTouch 4G slide, you're, you're one. Let me turn this off and get the uh, score. 1,768 on the MyTouch 4G slide. So 1,768 over here, 1,988 over there. So you get the uh, the quadrant standard. Now again, take that with a grain of salt. Both of these are very fast devices. That said, there's a little bit more memory on the, uh, the Evo 3D. You have one gigabyte of RAM on this one. You have about, from what I can tell, maybe 768 megabytes of RAM on this one. I have to go back and look at the specs just to be sure, but about 576, our uh, total is 576, so it looks like about 768, considering that 803 is free over here, or total over here when this is really one gigabyte. So just doing it off the top of my head, I'm probably 768 megabytes of RAM. So let's take a look at the network speed test as well. 4G HSPA Plus over here, 3G CDMA EVDO Revision A, over here, this one is 4G capable. I'll kick on 4G, I don't think it'll pick up in my office, let's see. But we'll certainly turn it on and give it a go. So let's load up speed test on both of these. And we'll wait to begin the test. I actually wanna turn this, change the settings. Yep, good, Greensboro, that's where I want it. And it looks like 4 is not gonna pick up. But we'll begin the test on both of these. Let me make sure that one's in Greensboro. So we can get an idea. Okay, it looks like there might be a little something that's picking up, that's good. Maybe, just maybe, yep. So we'll see. Now again, you know, network speeds haven't been great on the Sprint side. Uh, you know, I don't know if Sprint's having data issues or what, but all across the city, and not just here, I've heard on Twitter as well, a lot of people are having issues with Sprint's 3G connectivity. Now over here on the MyTouch 4G slide, we're getting about 4.35 megabits per second. Actually, 4.37 megabits per second on the download. 1.53 megabits per second using Sprint's WiMAX. Now again, keep in mind, I'm in a pretty low service area with WiMAX, so can keep that in mind when you're looking at the video, but 4.37 to 1.53, and I mean the 3G speeds are pretty rough. You can see the results over here that I've gotten with uh, 3G, 0.43 megabits per second, 0.30, etc. So go ahead and speed test, and the upload 0.10 over, whereas the upload over here, 0.1, or 1.37 rather. So speed test, winner, my touch 4G slide. Let me turn on my monitor here so we can see what you guys have asked in your various videos. I'm gonna turn that on, sit back down. 
and let's see what you want to know. My Touch running gingerbread, yes, the My Touch is running gingerbread, and it's running since 3.0 as well. And I'm answering your questions from Twitter. Let's see here. Cameras, we covered that. Uh, wouldn't, let's see, wouldn't the sensation be a more suitable dogfight? And I talked about this in part one. I had to send the sensation 4G back to T-Mobile PR. We ran out of time, uh, and that was before the slide came out anyway. But the Evo 3D is a pretty comparable device to the sensation. So if you're on the fence on both of these devices, obviously take a look at both in store because there are some design differences and some feature differences. But for the most part, what I'm saying here about the Evo 3D in a lot of ways will apply to the, uh, the sensation 4G as well. Differences between the Espresso build of Sense and the regular build of Sense. You can see we covered that a little bit in part one. If you missed that, go back in part one and cover it, or I take a look at it rather in the video. But you can see the differences here in the notifications bar, things like that, and you'll see some differences in some limited functionality on the MyTouch 4G slide as opposed to the Evo 3D. For example, on the lock screen, you'll see the ability on the full version of Sense to bring in things like the weather, bring in some shortcuts, which you can customize all of that as you see fit. Whereas with this one, all you have is the ring to unlock. You don't get all of those cool additional features. Carousel effect is still in place, but you get five home screens as opposed to seven on the Evo 3D. Let's see here. Spread 3G versus T-Mobile 3G. Well, I can't turn this over to T-Mobile's 3G. I can't turn the HSPA Plus, to my knowledge, uh, off on this device. I have to leave it on HSPA Plus. There's no option to kick it off in the settings uh, or anything like that, to my knowledge. Whereas with this one, you can toggle back and forth between 4G and 3G. So I, you know, I just showed you a 4G speed test. I consider that to be apples to apples, WiMAX versus HSPA Plus. So you saw the speed tests uh, there. So that looks like our questions. Now, dogfight winner has to be declared in the dogfight. I'm giving it to the MyTouch 4G slide. It's a greater you know, package across the board. If you want 3D, the Evo 3D is going to be your device. You know, it's an awesome device. Uh, with 3D content, and it does well in the specs department. Where it really falls is in call quality and battery life. Whereas with the MyTouch 4G slide, excellent call quality, excellent in battery life, has a physical QWERTY keyboard. So for those people that email on a regular basis, this is going to be your one. It may not be the best keyboard on the market, but you still get the option between virtual and physical. One of the best cameras on the market as well. And like I said, call quality, I mean, hey, the phone's a phone, right? So the call quality is fantastic on the MyTouch 4G slide. So it's the winner. You think I'm crazy, let me know. And on that note, much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com. Be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. We're doing the greatest tech giveaway ever, and we're giving away iPad 2s, Galaxy Tab 10.1s, touchpads, and Asus Transformers in our contest. Be sure to like us at facebook.com slash PhoneDog. Follow me on Twitter. Let me know if you think I'm crazy or you think that the uh, MyTouch 4G slide is the phone to have at PhoneDog underscore Aaron on Twitter and on Facebook at facebook.com slash PhoneDog. A, B. Much more coverage come on both of these devices, so don't leave. Keep it locked on the greatest tech site ever, PhoneDog.com. We'll see you next time.